is Nick Morgan. I'm program leader for model design, uh, which covers three pathways, uh, special effects, character and creative effects, and model effects. Although I am now an academic, I consider myself to be someone who makes models. The chap who used to be the program leader contacted me because I had a variety of skills that went from digital through to pure workshop skills and the breadth of those skills he wanted me to come in and do some visiting lecturing, part-time stuff which I got paid for. Once I started teaching I realised how inspirational groups of students are because young people have fantastic ideas and I hopefully would be helping them to solve problems that they might not have the experience to. In the workshop we've got basic tools like band saws and sanding machines, we've got some very good lathes, we've got milling machines, 3D printers, CNC mills or routers. We've also got facilities for laser cutting. When I went to work I was paid to play. I used to get great satisfaction from any finished project that was photographed or filmed or whatever. You, you get a lot of satisfaction from that. Well, in the 1980s, they were still advertising cigarettes and they were advertising alcohol on TV and on posters. They were very restricted in what they could actually say, so the ideas tended to be quite creative and surreal. We did a lot of sets or props for that kind of stuff. We made some very large uh, models of trucks, miniatures of trucks for Shell in America and a wide variety of different poster ads and commercials. When I first started at Norman Foster he was building the Hong Kong and Shanghai Bank and following on from that he did various other interesting projects and all of these were things that we would make models of. He's most famous for designing the Gherkin in London which is part of London skyline iconic buildings. Anything that involves making scale models and miniatures is great fun for me. 